Proposed budget and staff cuts at Montana Tech in Butte up for discussion today at a public meeting on the Mining City campus. MTN's John Amy was there. Some Montana Tech students asked a panel at the Butte University to spare some programs like the technical communication program from being cut from the curriculum. I am concerned on why we are cutting a program and multiple pro programs rather than looking into the recruiting process. This panel held a public hearing this week to take comments about a draft proposal issued last week that could cut up to 13 faculty positions and 10 staff positions, as well as eliminating some non-engineering departments at the university. Some say these fields of study are needed in a world that's become more technical. Data science, uh, technical communication are two areas that are going to be critical in that future economy and the future problems that we have to solve. The panel was also told that some of these cuts could hurt Montana Tech's goal of recruiting more female students. The programs that you're looking at uh, eliminating are programs that help address some of that gender bias or that gender skewedness in terms of recruiting more female undergraduate and graduate students. And I think a good way to do this is to keep the data science program because even though there's only seven students in this program, three of them that I know of are females and that's more than there are in the entire computer science program. Some Montana Tech alumni who ended up starting local businesses here in Butte, like the owner of 5518 on Main Street, were at that meeting and said these programs helped them get started in business. And the skills that I learned in those couple of years studying up here in that particular department, uh, which is now slated to be cut significantly, the skills that I learned are directly relatable to the successes that, uh, that we're trying to do um, through our business on Main Street. The panel will consider these comments as it awaits a revised draft of these proposed cuts that will be issued Friday. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News. Thank you, John. Now, once the panel has had a chance to review the final draft, it will vote whether or not to decide to accept it, that vote coming up December 14th.